my friends and fellow Vetsies, and welcome back. Today we are putting the Season 2 Electric Company songs into their tier ranking position. Shall we get started? Our first Season 2 song is Follow the Clues from One Smart Cookie. This is a great way to utilize the guest star for the episode. Anne Harada's character, Polly Hashimoto, the writer of the Casey Calloway series, has been built up the entire episode as this weird, mysterious author lady. She does all of the murder mystery author things we expect the murder mystery author to do. And it isn't until the very end of the episode that she breaks character, so to speak, and starts to celebrate the successful solving of the mystery. Follow the Clues is just such a fun way to wrap up the episode. It's such a great little celebration song. A tier stuff. High Noon, also known as the clip they choose whenever anybody from the show goes on to a late show or something and it's like, so you did this weird thing one time. And by that I mean I'm pretty sure it happened once with William Jackson Harper, but I'm just shocked that they referenced this show at all. God, it's so stupid. This episode is so stupid. I don't understand what the fuck they were doing with this episode. Which makes it all the more frustrating that this little rap battle is actually pretty good. Like, I mean, it's Lin-Manuel Miranda, of course it's solid, but like, the fact that it's solid while he is a hot dog sheriff and William Jackson Harper, now Emmy nominated William Jackson Harper, is a fucking evil apple and they're in a western in a refrigerator, I, I don't know what to do with this episode, C tier. Oh, fuck yeah, we're at Unmuffins, which means we're at Don't Undo Undanny. Hell yes, iconic. I love all of the Undannies in the background. The song is fun. The chorus gets in my head all the fucking time. I've got the entire thing memorized. I always have, and I probably always will. I could be on my deathbed at 87, and I could still do this number. S tier. Scratch your back. This is cute. It It's not terribly special, but it's catchy. It's fun. I definitely remember it. And the way Dominic is selling that Manny is playing this turning villain really makes it fun. B tier. The Francine. The Francine is hard because, like all of Francine's video production, it is sort of supposed to be bad. And so I can't judge it too harshly for being bad, but at the same time I can't pretend it's good either. So we're just gonna call it a D tier because that seems like the most fitting place for it. Compromise. You know, this is one that I forget about a lot because this is another weird episode. I, I mean, it's the electric company, every episode is a weird episode, but the Great Compromise is especially strange. So yeah, I don't think about this song a lot, but it's a good song. Like, don't get me wrong, it's good. I just, I don't know. It doesn't have that iconic quality that some of the others do, so I can't in good conscience give it anything higher than a B tier. Down with the Skalekians. This entire episode feels like they just wanted to make weird Skalekian shit up for the sake of world building, and I can't fault them for that, but at the same time, it just feels like they weren't trying 100% on this one, and that's true for this song as well. It's not terrible, but I would never willingly listen to it. If I was watching the episode, I wouldn't skip it, but I would never seek this one out either. It's fine enough, it's D tier. Observe the Ape. I really didn't expect anything out of this song. I had pretty much forgotten it. I didn't have a lot of expectations for this song, so I was surprised when it turned out to be nice and cute and actually kind of touching. Marklin Baker as Sigmund Scrambler is killing it. It's a good song. It's cute. C tier. Good friends, good as gold. I actually really like the lyrics of this one. There's just two problems I have with it. 
one, there is no real rhythm or melody to make them particularly interesting. And I find the voice of the girl playing Jules nasally enough that I really don't like it. That's a personal preference thing. I definitely know that I have a low tolerance for nasality. Francine is different because she is the villain and is supposed to be a little weird. This is just not fun to listen to. D tier. The last place you look. The idea of this song is cute, but the execution is just not really there. Having Jenny play Cordelia Heffenbacher and Lisa Heffenbacher at the same time is fun, but the fact of the matter is they didn't really make much of a song for her to sing. And this episode has such a weird conceit, so the song feels like it should be really emotional, but at the same time, it's so silly and out there that it's hard to take it seriously. Where's in the Wise, Lisa's version. I actually like the performance of this song. It's fun, it's catchy, they sort of revamped it to have a little bit more of a melody. It would totally be at least on par with the original. But it's a copy! It's the same song! I don't know if they thought nobody would notice or if they thought nobody would care, but y'all, you've written an original song for almost every single episode. Why are you copying one of your old songs now? And what makes it even weirder is that Jessica isn't in this episode, which makes the whole dynamic seem even stranger. I don't know, it really bothers me that they just copied one of their own songs for this. It feels like they realized they hadn't had enough songs this season and tried to just shoehorn one they already had in. And I don't like that. E tier. And those are all of the season two songs. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Well, surprise, surprise, filming four videos in one day with really no script is a bad idea unless your goal is to melt your brain a little bit. And so I didn't notice that I forgot to film anything about the Bluefoot Friendship Call, which is a shame because it's a cute little song. I think that everybody's singing sounds really good. I love the rhymes in it. It's a cute little song, but it is a cute little song. And it's very standard, so it's just C tier. I feel like season two was weird, even in terms of the electric company when it came to the songs. But we had a few really good ones mixed in with a few really not good ones, and just some mediocre ones in the middle. But season three, oh boy season three, some of the best, and some of the other type too. I'll see you tomorrow to talk about that.